Good night, everyone. I trust you guys are hearing me okay. Um, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, Recipe Chit Chat. It's Thursday evening. I told you guys um, we're going to be doing this live thing every every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, why are Trini Flavors, Nicholas? Can you guys hear me okay? I'm just trying to figure out if my every time I've got to do this on a sound check thing. Tiny one, are you hearing me? Um, please let me know. I remain. <laughs> yes, Wyatt, I did notice you. Um, Sharon, good afternoon, good evening. Okay, perfect. So you guys are hearing me. Um, quickly go through the format if this is your first time doing the whole live thing here with me on YouTube. Every Thursday, we're going to be doing this live thing where we're going to take the previous recipe from Tasty Tuesday. And every Tuesday, we publish a recipe. We're going to take it apart. So, one, when you watch the recipe video, leave comments down below. I use those to get the sort of questions to answer that you guys ask. So, the first part of the tonight's video, I'm live stream. I will say hello to as much people as I can shortly. But I really want to jump into things here because I, I am I'm trying to make this video a bit shorter than last week's. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start off. Um, last Tuesday's video was the coconut stewed fish, and I used halibut, I believe it was. And there were a number of comments and concerns. Well, not concerns, but questions and stuff like that in regards to the recipe. Now, after I go through the ones that we received here. Uh, <laughs> Um, I just love the comments you guys leave, man. Yeah, it's reassuring to know the level of support I have from you guys day in, day out. Yo, it's a pleasure, man. Um, I'm not wearing my glasses tonight, so I hope I can see everything. Yeah, I'm not getting old, you know. <laughs> um, maybe I need some laser vision or something. Deo Saran, my, my, um... My little cousin's last name is Dave Saran. Her father lives in, um, and I'm talking to Cindy, you're out in, in New York there. But guys, let's jump into the questions here. I guess I tracked here. Remember to hit a thumbs up on the heart and stuff like that for the video. Do share it when it goes live. If you're watching this um, recorded, um, you can leave comments down below. Um, one thing I wanted to mention um, in regards to this recipe, after I posted the video on Facebook, for some reason, the comments on Facebook can be a bit critical at times. And I'm cool with, with, with critical comments. It's just that when you're playing with a recipe, do keep in mind when you're commenting, and I'm not addressing any one of you. I'm just going through a little note that I have here. There were two people on, on, on Facebook who commented. The first one said um, the recipe was too white. It was disgusting. I use coconut milk. What can you expect? And two, another one said, oh, she would never eat that unless there's tomatoes and tomatoes and something else in there for color. Oh, here's the thing. I am sure your recipe is great, but do keep in mind two things. I don't know your recipe. I'm cooking my recipe. But more importantly, when I cook it, I've got to eat it. Um, so at the end of the day, I cook what I like based on what I grew up eating, and, and and I try to stick to traditional at times, and then I do my whole fusion thing. In the recipe, I did mention, as far as the color goes, because I know down in the Caribbean, we're very visual with our food, um, something that's white. And again, the coconut milk will make it white. I did mention in there that you can use what we call ruku or annatto seeds in there. Now, if you have the actual process um, syrup, you can certainly toss it in there and it will brighten up the the coconut stewed fish that we did. The other, um, now we're going to get to the questions. Um, hello, everyone. Again, I, I'm, I'm going to go through the comments after, but keep pushing them out there. What I do is after I record the video here, I go back and I read through them as well too. So rest assured, I value your comments as well. Um, as far as the recipe, the coconut stewed fish goes, someone asked if they can use salmon. And, and you can use just about any fish that you like using. 
or what's available or what you can afford. I'm not asking you to to go out of the norm. Uh, there, there's some fish I would recommend. <clears throat> um, but something like salmon, of course, by all means. Would I do shark in there? Probably not. Would I use catfish in there? Probably not because I think it, it may go a bit tough on you. Um, swordfish may go a bit tough on you as well. You want to, well, catfish could probably work because it's pretty relatively flaky. A flaky fish will work great in the recipe as well. Um, so, yeah, you can certainly use salmon. It's just in my case here, I love my salmon grilled. And maybe that's why I didn't use salmon in this dish. Um, another person here had asked about the whole thing, the comments I made earlier about the recipe being a bit too white, pale in color. If you have ruku, you can certainly do that. If you wanted to add a little bit, and ruku is just the annatto seeds that we boil, and then we strain it, and we get that, that sort of strong liquid. And um, you can use that, or you can use um, a bit of tomato paste in there. That's cool to use some tomato paste in there as well. Someone asked, um, with this dish, what can it be served with? Treat it as any other fish recipe. Um, you can serve it with some nice steamed basmati rice. In my case, I think I mentioned it in the video there. I was having it with some um, some boiled rice. I, I love long grain parboiled brown rice. I'm not into all the scented rice and stuff like that. I, I keep it, you know, I grew up eating parboiled brown rice. So, um, and to be honest with you, I'm terrible at making <laughs> white rice. It always overcooks on me. Um, ground provisions, so you can have your yam, your dasheen, your green banana, edo, sweet potato as a side to it. Um, even a simple thing, because it has that sort of, of gravy from the coconut milk. Um, guys, loving all the comments. Keep them coming. From time to time, I'm going to peep in there. But um, uh, something like a crusty bread, you can also dip that bread in there and eat it with the fish and the sort of gravy that's there. The other thing you can do, you can pre-cook potatoes or, or green banana, uh, any sort of ground provision you like, cassava. And while the fish is cooking, it, it, it's stewing down. Remember, it only takes about five, six minutes for this to come together. Once you add the fish, that is. Um, you can add some pre-cooked um, starchy stuff into it and becomes more of a real thick, heavy stew as well, like a, a nice thick fish stew. So you can you can do it that way. Um, someone was asking about the importance of the coconut milk. The coconut milk adds a lovely flavor to the overall flavor of the dish. So it will be a sort of a sweet um, a sweet undertone. Really, really delicious. So don't sleep on the coconut milk. And yeah, I, I use canned coconut milk. So don't stress too much about oh I can't I, I don't have access to freshly made coconut milk. Canned coconut milk works fine. Um, just don't buy the overly cheap stuff. The overly cheap stuff, when you open the can, it's separate. You will see a bit of cream, and then it's all like water. Mm. That's an indicator there that there isn't much um, real coconut cream and flavor in it. Um, if you're looking for a video on how to make um, coconut milk from scratch, I do have a video on, um, and I wish, I wish... Uh, YouTube would allow me to just share links with you guys. Um, wow, we have 70 people. Um, yo, keep the, the thumbs up going. We've got 28 thumbs up. Um, on the Food FAQ channel, I have a video on there showing you how to make coconut milk from scratch if you want to do it. I think in one of the gallivanting videos here on, on Caribbean Pot, I also have a video where my dad was showing me how it was. It's traditionally done in the Caribbean, where you take the coconut, you grate it, then you squeeze all that milk out, you pour some water through it, and then you squeeze it again, and you get pure coconut milk, right? Someone asked if they can use smoked haddock instead of the um, the fish that I use. The what did I use? Yeah, I'm getting old, boy. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so of, uh, of course you can use um, smoked haddock in there. Now, remember with the smoked haddock, it would have already been cooked. So what I would do is I would add it at the very end, just to absorb some of that coconut um, goodness and to release some of that smoky flavors into it as well. So maybe the last minute of cooking, 
since the smoke had a could have already been cooked that's when you add it into there um and the final question tonight that i got is um someone was asking about the anato seeds what we call ruku um in the southern caribbean yes yeah, snapper will work great i'm just peeping in on um asni dalton yes yeah, snapper is great for this as well too um what sort of flavor does it give um it gives a nice rich color first of all and again we're very visual when we eat and two it gives it a sort of an earthy sort of base flavor so in a lot of the stews that we do especially in the southern caribbean um, I know my Hispanic friends as well in Latin America and the Hispanic areas of the Caribbean. We use it quite a bit. Um, that is the what we call ruku, you call anado. And you can get it in, in two forms, I mean, three forms. You can get the seeds, which you can process. And I have a video on the Food FAQ channel where I made an anado oil. And you can use that instead of the coconut oil that I started with or, or, um, or olive oil to start the dish with. You can get it as a paste, and I've seen it in the sort of ethnic section. You gotta love the ethnic section. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, man, smoking and grilling. <laughs> Smash that like button, man. Um, in the in the sort of ethnic section of the most grocery stores here, and I'm speaking from in North America because that's where I'm based. Um, you will find the anato paste, so you can use maybe a teaspoon of that or a, a tailor to your own liking. Um, so you got the seeds, you got the paste, and then you got the liquid. Now, I have never seen the liquid being sold in grocery stores, but in most of the the farmer's markets, the markets in the Caribbean, you can find it there. You can make your own. It's very simple. So, guys, those were the questions I had in regards to the recipe. My desk is falling apart here. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start going through your comments and, oh, we're up to 45 thumbs up and we've got 78 people on the, on the chat tonight. Um, I'm going to open up this sort of floor now. If you have any questions in regards to the, to the, um, the recipe, the coconut stewed fish. Please post it now. I will. I will try to get to it. Um, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna start healing you guys out. So we've got. Yo, I need my glasses. Where's my glasses at? Hold on a second. Nice. I don't even know where my next glasses is at. We got Giselle Shadow Benny is a seasoning we use in the Caribbean. I'm not sure. Um, Oh, Donna. Donna is saying that Anato is also colors Jamaican potty crust. Really? I never knew that. Thanks for sharing that one. Shireen, good night from St. Martin. Um, yeah, the book is available on at westindianfoodcompany.com, um, amazon.com, and amazon.ca. What I'm going to start doing... Um, since we've been testing the system the past two episodes, episode one, tonight, episode two, um, in episode three, once you tune in, you will have the opportunity. I'll start giving away prizes, doing giveaways on this live chat. So another incentive for you guys to um, to join in on the weekly chat that we're doing here on, on, on Recipe Chit Chat. Um, Danielle Godfrey is asking, do you know if we can get Shadow Benny seeds to plant here in Canada? Um, yes. You, I don't know about finding the seeds here, but if you check online, they do ship the seeds. And I believe, um, well, I had some on my desk here. I had someone, I don't have it with me right now, but, um, um, I did have a company ship me some. And um, the problem is, while I can grow just about anything, uh, for some reason, no matter how many times I try growing shadow, and it never works up for me. Shane, yes, big up yourself, soldier. David, blessings, my brother. Glad to see you join us again tonight. We got Rochelle from from Houston, Texas. Uh, more dessert recipes, Jay Williams. I am not a dessert person. Now, you probably look at me and say, well, 
your fat boy you're eating too much sweet thing you know but it's not that there's more carbs than anything else i'm not really um a sweet person but i did film um and this probably goes live tomorrow is um a jamaican spice bun uh, around easter time they eat that spice bun it's like a loaf cake bread basically and it's with bun and cheese you do with cheese but you're gonna like that one and i do have some more i've got some um some more interesting um dessert recipes coming up i'm not much of a dessert person and i don't bake a lot but i'm working on that so yeah i will get to some more um some more things shane gresham i want to see a detailed grenadian oil down recipe now i did do an oil down recipe and i was limited by by the ingredients i was able to source here in canada and just about everybody and their mommy had <laughs> had a comment to make because you know one thing about my grenadian brothers and sisters they take their stuff and it's throughout the caribbean we're very proud of who we are of who we are and, and each island and everything else so um i will get back to that recipe and most likely I, you know what i may do it when i visit grenada i'm supposed to be heading down to grenada sometime this year um <laughs> so i will get that um I will I will get that recipe posted. I have an interesting comment here. Someone's asking me to um to reflective coating on your glasses. One, I'm not rich yet. I can't afford that. But on a <laughs> joke still. But um on a serious note, I just had my daughter in a car with me. We went to pick up her sister from work. <laughs> and she has the anti glare um coating on the glasses, reflective whatever. And she was complaining that every every time you touch it, 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 it for some reason um it attracts dirt and, and fingerprints and everything more hi hydra arcanum greetings from toronto where where do i get caribbean ingredients in toronto yeah, we're blessed in toronto now i'm in hamilton which is about 45 minutes west of toronto <laughs> but we're blessed man you just got to go to any of the asian supermarkets no not in the core but just on the outskirts for instance when i go visit my parents in north york yeah the, the asian stores they've got everything in there man um name it and i can get it there um then you can go um i'm a huge fan of the guys at charlie's in um in mississauga they usually stock the good stuff there as well too so there are quite a few options and many of the um Uh, many of the more mainstream groceries are, are having a sort of an ethnic section. I spoke about that earlier, where you will get those um, ingredients. Um, a. Marcano is asking if I'm doing, start doing recipes using the pressure cooker. Here's the thing about pressure cooker. One, I find that you don't get the true flavor when you use pressure cooker by that sort of fast cooking method. Two, if you grew up in our home, mom... Yo, mom had us scared as kids of pressure cookers. Oh, it's going to explode and you're going to get this. And so to this day, while I do have a pressure cooker downstairs, I've used it once. That said, a company sent me one of those electric pressure cookers. I think, um, what's it called? I can't remember the name of it now, but it's the big rave on, if you go on social media, especially Facebook, you will see a lot of recipes dedicated to this new, well, it's not new. I, I think they sent me that, um, they sent me that um, that pressure cooker about three or four years ago. It's still in my garage, but I do have some recipes coming up with using that because you know a lot of people have been asking for recipes um, using that. So while you won't see the traditional pressure cooker recipes, you will see me use that electric uh, pressure cooker in, in some recipes. Mahi mahi, I love it grilled. To be honest with you, grilled, you know, pretty basic olive oil. Um, some seasoning, whatever sort of seasoning and spices you like in there, and just keep brushing it on there. Some lemon juice, and you're good to go, Shireen. Um, Fruit-based recipes. I am trying to avoid the carbs as well, Jay Williams. I just came out from the grocery store two days ago, and I bought a whole bunch of blueberries and blackberries, spinach, kale. Um, I'm going to be using coconut water as my base, but it's more... Um, sort of drinks and shakes that I'll be doing. Carrots was on sale, so I'll be doing a lot of stuff with carrots. 
I'm not a huge fan of celery um, and whatever sort of fruit I find. So I wasn't thinking about sharing them, but if there's much, if people want to see it, um, I can certainly do that. Maybe it's a good topic for me to do. Um, for the, um, on the, um, the Instagram, I told you guys I'll be doing some Instagram stuff, some live stuff there. Um, <laughs> Sharon Henry, <laughs> wicked. Love the fact that you guys enjoy that. Um, do you have any, the Nutribullet, sorry, no, I don't have any recipes for the Nutribullet. Um, Rochelle, I did your stewed chicken for my grown son and he loves it. <laughs> nice. Um, Anthony, do you have a recipe for rice and peas with canned kidney beans? Yeah, there is two or three recipes on the website using canned um, kidney beans. So you can rock those, man. Um, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Um, tell a friend and tell a friend that we're doing this live thing every, um, every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, Miss, Miss Butterscotch, is it? Yeah, man. I love my pressure cookers. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of pressure cookers, but if it works for you, you know, I can't fault, I can't say anything about that, right? It is what it is. Interesting question, Charlotte. Um, how do you decide what will be next, the next video? Um, what's in season at the time? Well, here's the thing. If I'm in the Caribbean, I try to find stuff like when I was there the last time we did um, a guti, we did chatain, which is bread nut, and it's stuff I can't necessarily get here in Canada. It, while I'm here, for most most part, I, I I research recipes and then I try to recall what I ate when I visited where in the Caribbean, and I try to get those ingredients and put it together. No, when I get to the grocery store and I'm starting walking through the grocery store, I would see stuff. For instance, the whole spice bun thing that I'm doing, it didn't occur to me until I saw it being sold at the grocery store already made. I'm like, wait a minute, I got to do this recipe. I haven't done this one yet. Um, so that affects it. And the third thing that influences the recipes that I do is um, what's on sale. <laughs> I go through flyers or, or circulars and I see what's on sale in the grocery store. And um, I'm a single dad. Let's, let's face facts here. And it's, tough, it's tough out there when you, <laughs> when you got to support everybody, you know what I mean? So flyers, what's on sale plays a big part. And four, um, what my kids want to eat, what they ask me to that can we do this? Or my middle girl, you would have seen her in many of the videos, Taya. She comes up with these brilliant ideas for fusion type recipes. So a lot of the fusion recipes that you see, um, she's the influence behind it. Eve Phillips, glad to have you on here with us tonight, man. Um, Amrit Maharaj. Maharaj. <laughs> yeah, did you guys? By the way, he's asking um, from San Grandi, Trinidad, um, Grandi. Um, he's telling me to open a restaurant here in Canada, and um, I'm, I'm giving it more talk. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the article that I that I wrote um, on Chris Dealer, Rosa.com, but um, check it out when you got some time. It's um, things that um, that irritate us about Caribbean restaurants, and you know, the list is long, man. <clears throat> How to make grainy rice um, it's the ratio water to to rice um, I think there's a video and um, where I spoke about that in my one of my rice and peas um, Donna West thank you for all the alternatives you give items can of source in Calgary I have three Western stores you're most welcome Donna um, and I try because I realize that the audience is global and you won't necessarily always have access to um, to everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> Roger Brooks, my guy, the Wicked Chef. Yo, <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while, man. Karasi from Barbados. Yo, big up Barbados. <laughs> um, did I miss part of it? He's asking about the chief brand curry powder. It is a good curry powder, but I do make my own. 
I do have my own blend, and I mentioned in the last video that I am working to bring it to market pretty soon. Jonathan B, what's up, soldier? Uh, word of the day. Um, Joy, how do I make my own curry powder? It's a combination of five or six different spices. I can't remember the 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 exact measurements or what they are right now offhand. But again, I'm bringing it to market. I can't really reveal my secret now. Come on. <laughs> um, can we get more seed? S-E-A-D. Um, I'm not sure. Lorena, I'm not sure what you're asking, but please... Um, You can hit me a message actually if, if if for instance you post something here in the comments and i didn't address it please email me at chris at caribbean and um i'll try to answer it david doubles is coming guy you know that's the most requested recipe i've had and i'm just trying to perfect it I'm trying to get somebody who actually knows it and to be able to simplify it um so everyone can um can do it Cynthia is asking about some um, Caribbean spices. Okay, I will try to get to that one because you're not the first person to to ask me about that. Um, so I will do a video on on spices we use in the Caribbean. Uh, Cynthia is asking here when and how to use them and which dishes and the sort of flavor they will produce, as well as any health benefits associated with those spices. That recipe will be posted on Food FAQ, though not Caribbean part. Uh, guys, I was asking for doubles. Um, Chris Ould, where can I buy Shadow Bunny? Um, it's Shadow Benny or Shadow Benny um, or Culantro. You can get it in most West Indian um, supermarkets as well as in most Asian supermarkets. I think in the Asian market it's called Nagagao, um, but you can check there. A stove cleaning video, <laughs> RGB, yo, respect. But you see that stove cleaning? I dislike stove cleaning. Oh, man. Um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll do a video one of these days on that. Can't promise you right now, though, because I'm usually in a bad mood when I'm cleaning the stove. <laughs> um D. Weston. Bless up, ma'am, sir. Sir, ma'am, I'm not sure. Can't see your image. Um, Caribbean Spice is asking, what sort of alcohol do I like to use in my black cake rum cake recipe? Of, of course, a dark rum. Um, I grew up in Trinidad and Tobago, so we have what's called cherry wine or cherry brandy. That works um, really well. I like the combination of those two. I also add like um, like adding a little bit of um, orange liqueur in there as well to um, um, gives it a nice rounded flavor to my liking. Um, yeah, guys. Yeah, cilantro is is an alternative to culantro. So cilantro is different than culantro. Um, guys, I, I guess you must be somewhere local because we're talking about fresco. Leo O'Brien, um, how to prepare dumplings? I have, I have a, a coconut or is it a cassava dumpling recipe on the website? And most of my soup videos, you will see me make dumplings. But I have a recipe coming up pretty soon with um, cassava dumplings when uh, cooked in, in salted cod. You're gonna like this one, but it, it will show you how to make cassava dumplings in that. Um, No, um, I'm not sure. Um, Asani? Dalton, Dalton. I realize that when asking for doubles, you got to see a roti. And when asking for roti, you got to see roti skins. I was uh, confused at first. I am not sure where you're buying it from, but doubles is totally different than roti. Um, and, and 
any decent Caribbean restaurant will will know that and they won't um, they won't confuse you with that. Roti is roti now. And the thing about roti is it can be confusing because there are different types of roti. There's bus up shot, well paratha, bus up shot, um, alu roti, um, um, a lot of different types of roti itself. Now then then there's roti skin. So a roti is usually the roti skin with some sort of curry or stew base in there, um, uh, what we call top curry in there, and then they would fold it, and that would make a roti. The roti skin is just the sort of burrito-looking thing that they use to wrap it in. Um, Laura Charles um, was asking for a cinnamon cinnamon roll recipe. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm gonna add it to the to-do list. So, guys, uh, we've got 90 people on here. We've got 70 thumbs up. So, we've got some people not hitting me a nice little thumbs up. Show your boy some love, man. Corn pie is coming very soon. I promise you on that. Um, Chris, yeah, man. I, I'm, 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 I've been to Windsor a couple of times, and it was, um, it was just an opportunity to gamble at the casinos down there. So, yeah, if you had Joseph's and Mr. Meats, um, do your thing, man. Lorena, Dominican Republic. <laughs> yeah, we've got more seafood recipes coming, more vegetarian type recipes coming. We're doing the meat free Mondays once or twice a month. I'm not sure yet, but um, I've already filmed two videos in that series. Um, Southeast Minnesota, we've got. <laughs> is that Morby? Interesting. Love that name. Huh? A good substitute for the Scotch bonnet peppers. If you're having difficulty finding Scotch bonnet peppers, um, I love habanero peppers, to be honest with you. Especially there's a small one, a tiny one called white habanero. Yo, that thing's got lovely flavors, man. Randy Johnson, what's up? So, um, Ian Davis, you big up yourself, man. Rama, thanks for the recipe, Chris. You're most welcome. Um... <laughs> really, yeah? Morby's saying that she's named, um, is it, is it a she or a he? I can't see the picture too, too good. I, I, my, my apologies, but um, from my hometown to drink. <laughs> Yo, my uh, my chef friend, Mark O'Brien, um, my boy loves a Morby, man. Uh, you can have a glass of Morby every day, every hour, man. Um, K and K Baxter is asking if the cookbook is an ebook. No, it isn't. Um, however, if you do purchase the physical book and you would like a PDF copy of it, you just gotta hit me an email and I can send that out to you. It's just that um, it's not in the best quality, um, and we try to avoid that simply because too many people try to share it and you know, free thing, free thing, free thing. Everybody wants. Pimento pepper hard to find in India. Um, if you can't find pimento peppers, the only thing I could probably suggest is just use bell peppers. Um, the flavor is hard to duplicate, though. Um, if you can get cubanelle, I don't know if you have cubanelle in India, but uh, you can try that as well. Patrick Morrow, hey, big up yourself. Do you know someone vegan? I'm not sure what you're asking, but yeah, there are vegan recipes on... Um, Oh, do I, do I know anyone who's vegan? Yeah, on my mom's side family, um, there are a few people who are or used to be vegans. I'm not sure if they still are, but um, Angela, can you do a pigtail oil though? Most certainly. That's one of my weaknesses, you know, pigtail. Yeah, Randy, hit me an email. Thanks for, for, for buying the book. Hit me an email, and I'll, I'll send out that time. Just remind me that I promised it to you. Um, it's chris at caribbeanpod.com, and I'll send out that PDF to you. Um, Trini Holiday drinks. <laughs> Rum and anything. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some more um, <laughs> some more holiday drinks. But if you check the channel, I've got quite a few sorrel and, and all them kind of thing drinks they already done. <laughs> Stew peas with pigtail. All right, Ian. I'm going to add that to the list. <laughs> Jacob. Listen, friends. Um, 
We've been going now for 35 minutes. I'm going to shut things down because I've got a meeting to go to. But as always, um, it was a pleasure um, chatting with you guys here today. We answered those questions. Then we took questions from you guys. And then I'm going through the comments. Now, remember in next week's episode, I will have a giveaway on there. So tell a friend and tell a friend. I really appreciate it if you do. Remember to hit the video thumbs up. Leave comments down below if you're watching this um, recorded. And thanks again for joining me. Make it a great evening. Yo, happy Easter. Tomorrow's Good Friday. Tomorrow's my sister's birthday, actually. Um, have a, a wonderful Easter, and I'll see you guys again next week. Remember, if you want to join on another sort of live chat, I, I also do it at um, on the Facebook page on Saturdays. This week, I think it may be Saturday morning um, because I have an event to go to in the nighttime. But um, listen, always a pleasure to have you guys with me here. And we will, um, Tiny Whiny, I like that name, you know. <laughs> tiny Whiny. Uh -huh. Make it a great evening, guys. Bye-bye.